Hi, welcome back to another edition of Our Take on Cruise with Roger and Shannon. My name is Roger Blum with Cruise and Port Advisors, and as you can see, it takes two people to take Shannon's place today. So who do we have with us? Please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Mike McFadden with Mac Maritime. Adam Cesarano with the Florida Caribbean Cruise Association. So today, we are coming to you from right off of the Seven Mile Beach in the beautiful island of Grand Cayman uh, in the Cayman Islands. And the reason we're here today is because we're just finishing up an FCCA PAMAC conference or uh, cruise summit, I have to get these words right. So, and this summit is for platinum members of the FCCA, cruise executives, and a whole bunch of government officials. So tell us a little bit about FCCA and what this platinum uh, cruise summit is. Well, first of all, I got a, a big shout out, big thank you to uh, Minister Brian. This is an amazing event. He's the Minister of the Cayman Islands. They were, it was epic. It was just for platinum members uh, and cruise executives. Uh, the, the platinum membership program has been going for over 22 years or 25 years longer than even I've been there. Um, and it's built up such a momentum in the industry that it's become a, a gem that we all kind of cherish. It's invite only, it's the, the best of the best in the industry that uh, come to these events. And it's so important for all of us to get together. It's about collaboration, communication, and working together. And the Cayman Islands have been an amazing host. I'll, I'll second that. They've been, it, it's been just phenomenal here that, you know, you kind of, forget how wonderful the people are here and they put on a great conference. And as far as the Platinum membership, Mike, you've been a Platinum member for a long time. Yeah, I'm uh, showing my age here. I think I'm one of the first, going back to the mid 90s through the West Indian Company and carrying it through ever since. Wow. And so that's been you know really amazing for me. And it really you know reinforces today during the, the general session, uh, if I had to, you know, pick a word to describe it, it would either be confidence or optimism or both. Everybody was upbeat, you know, it's charged forward, and I think that's typified by the cruise ship order book. You look at that tremendous investment into the future, and yeah, it really says it all. And that's what we take back to our clients as consultants and organizers of these different, you know, associations and memberships and everything. And that helps our clients justify their future investments. It was certainly incredibly optimistic, but not just optimistic, they were putting numbers behind it. Mm -hmm. So um, I know Michelle, who some people yeah. may have heard of Michelle Page, um, she's, she's a very modest person, um, <laughs> but she gave us some really interesting statistics this morning. Yeah, so Michelle was going back in the, in the history of, of what the FCCA has encompassed the, through our association. And before COVID, uh, roughly the, the region, I think actually probably had about 33 or 34, sometimes as high as 36% of the capacity and for that was sailing around the world. If you put the regions together right now and the optimism that Mike just said, uh, and that's all grown. So the Caribbean is around 44%. I think you have Panama and, and, and that, that area is another 5%. And then you have some of the Central America areas. And so it's a roughly 52% of the industry right now wow. is focused somewhere in, in the FCCA region. And there, there's nothing more that I can say that is that it, it's, it's the FCCA's work with the industry, the amazing cruise executives that work with us, um, the leadership from the cruise lines themselves to put this trust in these regions mm -hmm. and the growth that has shown over that time. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I've been part of the FCCA, it feels like, pretty much from the beginning. Um, in my younger days, or my earlier days, um, as a cruise executive, I was a member of the operations committee at all the meetings, traveled with the FCCA, and when I became independent, um, I remember going and having lunch with Adam and Michelle, and they extended an invitation to become a Platinum member. And I'll tell you, it's been the best decision, not just for the relationship you build, very personal relationship with not just the FCCA group, but with the actual cruise executives, whether they're the people who are doing the itineraries, shore excursions, procurement, but also the senior management. The CEOs and presidents of the cruise lines become very much involved. Yet a couple of them here today with us. Um, and that's something that really means something. But to go a little bit further, so with FCCA, what do you see as what does the FCCA do? What, 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 what's, what do you, what's it, it, it's, it's very simple. If you get it down to nuts and bolts, the FCCA is all about partnerships. 
we bring destinations to communicate with the cruise lines. And from that, it forms in these other things that we have now, such as the events and the conferences, meetings, uh, we have fam trips. And over time, that is, is developed into a cohesive membership program that is so unique to the industry. I really believe in it. Uh, if I didn't work at the FCC, I would still believe in it because yeah. it's really the best of the best. If you look at the program, we don't just let everyone in. Um, we we you know, get applications all the time, and, and it's really about taking members that can develop the program with us and, in, and can be involved in the program, and the executives also want to work with them. So it's like, you know, if you look at the industry, the industry is huge. We only have 130 members that are platinum, and there's 13, 14,000 people around the world probably that are working in the industry at least, at least, right? At least. You know, so you know, if you look at massive events like Sea Trade, which is an amazing event, and then you look at the PAMAC conference, our PAMAC conference is a, you know 130 members, um, but all of those members add value to the program, and we all get to know each other very well. But even coming to a conference like this, um, for me today um, at my meetings, in two of my meetings for one of my clients, uh, Martin Nake. I came away with a whole bunch of additional calls. Yeah. So it's real business that happens, but there's also fun that happens. Today, um, I'm not sure if we're going to post a picture, we were all in the water at Stingray City playing with the Stingrays, including Michelle, and it was cool. Yeah, yeah. So we, you know, part of the event, and what, you know, Michelle's always been the leader of this. Uh, in fact, she was the first one in the water today. Uh, she was. So, so, so you know, it, part of this is experiencing the destination. Everywhere we have these PAMEC events, it's about experiencing the, the destination, uh, enjoying it, learning it, and then taking that knowledge back and then bringing it back to other destinations so we can all learn from each other. And I think that's what everybody does. So as people may remember, we're coming out of a pause in the industry and a really tough time. The FCCA put together um, what was called the America's Cruise Task Force, mm -hmm. which really opened up communication, which is the most important thing between the cruise lines and destinations, within the destinations themselves, within the cruise lines, that turned out to be a really important part of the restart of cruising. And that communication is still lasting. But you've got other, I know we're talking a little bit longer, sorry, but I hope you guys hang in there. But you've got a couple other initiatives you guys are working on. Yeah, so from, from that task force, which was led up by Michael Bailey, who was a great leader, um, really kind of showed the FCC the, the direction to go during that time. He, he brought forth like, hey, okay, so we have this great task force. What can we do with the next? The next one was purchasing, the other part was employment. So we're on those initiatives now, and we're gonna keep them going and growing them with the destinations and our partners and our platinum members. Well, I'll say one thing, the team, the FCCA's team is incredible. They always make sure that people are first. And this is a people business we're in. It's an absolute people business we're in. So even, <laughs> it, even here, it's a people business. That's Jessica from the FCCA. It, it's a people business. Yeah. So congratulations um, on a great summit and congratulations on all the work that the FCCA is doing. It's a pleasure for me to be a member and I, for those of you who are not um, called, you know, maybe not platinum because that's not as easy to become a platinum member, but the events you do and everything else, it's a great association. Really so thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you to the team. Um, thank you to our human easel. <laughs> and thanks for joining us. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.